Well, it's Wednesday morning. It's a beautiful day. No wind, some sunshine. I just got a report from Beaver. He hunted on a bay this morning and results were bleak. I don't know, no reports from Nada, but my att attempt to go tomorrow is what I'm planning on. My first spin since Friday, I think. Tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I've had some knives after the show, because the show, you know, was kind of slow. I got a whole set of Wolfstoffs yesterday from a lady. And then I got these. These are dropped off with Chris at work. And it's a gathering of knives. This is a Cop Copco cop made in Japan. About nine inches, ten inches long. Nice looking knife. And then we got uh looks like a worst off to me. I mean a hankel. But it's old, you can't there's no uh, no description. I don't know if you can see the nicks in the blade. It's got a few little nicks in it. And then we got another oh yeah, they are hankles. You can see this one pretty good. Another slicer. We got a pair of Hinkle kitchen scissors, poultry scissors. Or we got a serrated knife, wooden handle. I can't see any name on this taquito. Well, it looks like it's there, but made in Brazil. Trammel, I can't make it up. Oh, I see something interesting in the bottom here. Here we got a serrated knife. I'm sure it's a hinkle. Same handle as the other ones. We got a little para. Mm. We have a Chicago cutlery taquito. And then we have a cool I call it a vegetable cleaver, a Dexter. Okay, that's, that's all I see in that box. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight knives and a pair of scissors. I got to get to work. Stand by. Well, the nine knives in the box are done. That big old Gurkha is done. And I got the other ones in the truck. Getting ready to take them back to the lady that we picked up yesterday. Me and big old Jack, we were bound out for delivery. We got to drop off some, um, got to go to Trader Joe's and get something. Which is not too far from the drop off. Stand by. I'm not Walter Cronkite. But I got some news for you. Catahoula news. You remember that video I did last week on Boudreaux? The Catahoula we used to have? Well, the wheels have been spinning since then. And I suspect after the uh, knife gig on Saturday that Chris and I are headed north uh, 187 miles in round figures three hours and a few minutes we're on a rescue mission soon you will see Dottie Dottie's an 18 week old, well, 19 week old Catahoula Australian Shepherd mix puppy. I think I think I told you, 18, 19 weeks old. I'll put some pictures at the end so you can see her. She's, she's really cool. We've been going through the adoption process now for several days and I think it's finally finalized. I don't remember the name of the exact spot, but it's pause, cause. Pause for 
something. I'll put the link on that so you can see it. It's an adoption agency, you know, that handles dogs. Mm. I guess cats too, I don't know. She's in Noakesville, Virginia. That's somewhere near Manassas, where all the Confederate and Union relics are. I don't know exactly where it is, I just know it's Noakesville, and when you look on the map, you see the big thing, Man Manassas, so I know I got excited when I saw Manassas. What them ears are flapping today, look at them. Anyway, We'll know more in a few days. Stand by for a dotty. Well, I'm going through a school zone, so I gotta slow down. I'll give you a little bit more on Dottie of what I know. And she's a litter of three. She has like a identical twin sister that looks like her. And she has a brother who is more black than anything else, from what I hear. I've never seen the brother, nor have I seen the sister, but the lady who has her says that the sister looks just like her. And when I show you the pictures, you're going to be amazed at the coloration. She's beautiful. And that's all I'm going to say about that. She's had very little human contact, only just recently, when this, I guess since this lady's had her. Apparently she's like Mandu. She's, uh, I don't, I won't say she lived in a while, but she lived somewhere where there was no human contact. Uh, most of her life of her 18 weeks and uh, the little the sister has come around really well and I don't know anything about the brother but I've seen a video of Dottie at home where she is now and she seems to be coming along great you know big old Jack he's been kind of lonely since we lost Isabella that little black Labrador we had and he's just been moping around the house. Maybe this will be the uh, little fire that will get him outside and make him run around more. I'm sure a 19 week old puppy will <laughs> we'll do something to him. It certainly can't hurt him. Can it, Big O' Jack? What do you want? <laughs> okay, I'm just about two minutes from the knife drop off. I'll get back to you later when I think of more things. Well, we're headed to Home Depot. Like I told you, we're remodeling the garage a little bit. I gotta get some shells. What I forgot to tell you was, we got two fellows in town from Maryland. They want to go, they've been spinning down the land and not for the last couple of days, but they haven't been doing much. A lot of change, I think. One's named Bud and the other's named Bill. And they're gonna join us tonight at the Mayflower Cafe for our Wednesday night dinner outing with Low Tide Tim and myself. I haven't met them, but I just, they're from the Maryland Free State Detecting Club. That's all I can tell you right now. Bill and Bud are in the land of Nada. They're staying at Fifth Street, down by the jetty, you know, at the inlet. Okay, stand by for more. Now comes the important part. With Jack and his tennis balls. You think Dottie's gonna love tennis balls like Jack does? That's all we live for around here is tennis. As most of y'all already know. You ready, ain't you, buddy? <laughs> you got all your tennis balls in your domain. Look at them. They're everywhere. Tennis balls. You ready? I know you're ready. Stand by. You're getting ready to have company.